What's going on guys, this is John and I am back with another video. This video has been a long time coming as well. As you guys know, it is hoodie season, it is cuddling season, it is no going outside and riding because you will slip out because the floor is wet season. So we are inside my house again, inside my room, inside the lab, and I'm going to be doing another sit and talk video, except this one will be very special and very helpful to some of you guys. This video is for, for all you guys that have been wanting to start BMX or that want to upgrade your BMX. This is the video for you guys. So since Christmas is coming up, I thought it would be the best time to put out this video so you guys can start asking your dad, your mom, your brother, your sister, your dog, whoever, your cousin, your auntie, whoever, your guardian. Just start asking, start listing this shit up. And if you have your own job, hey, maybe you could get these shits for yourself or maybe you ask for some help. We're going to get straight into the video. So first place we're going to go to is Source BMX. So this is going to be completely different from other sit and talk videos because I'm going to be on my computer. Duh, because I have to show you guys on my computer. So we're going to go to Source BMX. Now, if you guys don't know what Source BMX is, well, as it says right here, world's biggest BMX store. And that's because, you know, it is the world's biggest BMX store. So the thing about Source BMX is that they have a lot of options. I'm talking about an insane amount of options. So Source BMX is really good for options. And I know they are budget friendly as well. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to build up a custom build straight off of source bmx from the bottom bracket all the way to the frame to everything we're going to straight up build it right now this is going to be a lengthy video hopefully not too lengthy so the first thing we're going to need we're going to go to bmx parts i like to start from from the front to the back so what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the grips now the grips thankfully grips are cheap so when it comes to grips you could truly choose whichever grips you want. Grips are, have always been the same price. They're all $10.99. Some are $11.50, but I mean, hey, that's just a dollar. If you really want to go really budget friendly, you could do, you know, low to high, but grips are just grips. Truly, you could go with whatever grips you want because they are just 11 bucks anywhere that you go. So I personally love the Cobra Candy grips. Uh, the s and Hooter are good grips too. Other grips as well, but to me, Candy grips or Rikani, whatever you, whatever you guys, however you guys say it, uh, these are the best grips in my books and I love them to death. We're gonna add that to cart. So we got 10.99 down so far. After this, we're gonna go straight into the handlebars. So like I said, this is a budget build. We're gonna try our best to stick to the lowest end number, meaning the lowest price and prices. Thankfully, this is a website, so that won't be too hard because all we have to do is put lowest price. So we're gonna go to lowest price. Now, right here, you guys can see that the lowest ones are these, but I'm pretty sure none of you guys want to run that. We have to stay away from the sales ones because they're it's just because it's on sales. So the true lowest one is this one, the Jet BMX Chromali bars and the Verde Regent Sky bars and the Verde Regent High bar. I hope I'm saying that right. So Jet. So I have heard of some things about Jet. Like I said, never truly tried it myself, but I do know that these are some really good bars. I've seen a lot of people run these and they've never told me that it's going to break on them. And chances are, if this is your first BMX, you're not going to just right off the bat, send it off of a roof or something that's actually going to break apart. As long as it's Cromali, I doubt it, you're going to break it. Like you're, you're not relax. You're not going to break it. <laughs> I'm going to build this based off of me. So these are the Jet BMX Cromali bars. They come in black and only in black. That to me is perfectly fine. The only other color that I've ever thought about running is chrome. So they have these in a nine rise and an 8.5 rise. So me personally, I am six foot. I don't want to be bent down like that when I'm riding my bike. I want to be leveled out or just maybe a little bent down. Again, you don't want them to be chopper bars where, you know, it's like you're on a motorcycle, but you also don't want them to be too low. Personally, right now I'm running 9.75 bars and those are perfect to me. Maybe to you guys, that's a little too high or, you know, who knows, but these come in a nine and an 8.5. So if you think a nine inch rise would be good for you, then hey, there's these that are 32 bucks. But personally, I think that is not good enough for me. I would probably go for a 9.5, maybe a 10 inch bar. So they also got the Verde Regin bars. Chrome will always be more expensive than black. You guys need to remember that. Chrome will always be more expensive than black. What size did they come in? These are 10 inch bars, meaning they're meant for taller people. So as you guys can tell, regardless of if you're short or tall, there's always options for you guys. BMX, that's what I love about it. There will always be options for you guys. So I'm gonna throw these into the cart. So we got the, we got the bars, we got the grips. And so far we're at $45. Okay, all right, from here, I like going on to the stem. Oh look, they, have, they literally have them in order. Wow, that's crazy. So this website basically does it for you. I'm just making this video just to make this video. Wow. If we go to the stems, we got the Jet BMX. I have a feeling the Jet is, this is gonna be a Jet bike. So we have the Jet BMX front load stem or the Jet BMX top load stem. 
So like I said, there will always be options for you guys. It's never gonna let you down. So if you prefer front load, there's front load. If you prefer top load, there's top load. Personally, I love top load. Front load just looks weird to me, but it looks weird to me. Maybe not to you. So it is a 22.2 clamp beam. It's 53 millimeter reach and a 20 millimeter rise. They're pretty good. So add this to the cart, grab 65 bucks. Moving on now, we're gonna head to the headsets. Headsets are just like grips. Most headsets are gonna run you about 25, 25 bucks. So if you don't mind that, you could really choose whichever ones you want. But if you really wanna stick to your budget, then there's the Rant Bang Your Headset. So that's actually a pretty badass uh, name. Top cap with two percentage on security brand. It's a headset. You know what? It gets your, gets your forks moving. All right, we're gonna save the frame for last just because I've always liked saving the frame for last. So we're gonna move on to the forks now. Forks are really not that hard to get on a budget, I feel. Jet BMX 4 130 chromoly fork. As long as it's chromoly, chances are it's good enough for you. Mossy rear beginner. Chances are it's good enough. I actually like the design the Jet has going on. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. I like that little triangle within the triangle. It's pretty sick. So full chromoly forks from Jet BMX. Tapered legs, the perfect set of forks for a quick upgrade. This one offers a... Uh, 160 an offset of 30 millimeters so you know depending like i said depending on what you feel is best for you you guys can look more into that but for right now the best ones the cheapest ones are the jpm max for 55 bucks which is really cheap and i actually would buy that myself okay so next we're going on to the bmx cranks okay one thing okay one thing about cranks that i'm gonna tell you guys real quick do not get only left hand drive or only right hand drive stay away from that Make sure if you're gonna get cranks, it's gonna cost you more, but trust me, it'll be a million times more worth it. Make sure they are right-hand drive and left-hand drive compatible because you're first starting off and you don't know if you're gonna be right-hand drive or left-hand drive. It depends on what you're comfortable with. So if I were you, make sure that they come in right-hand drive and left-hand drive because if you only get left-hand drive ones or you only get right-hand drive ones, that means you're gonna have to stick to that. And that kind of sucks, you know? So for future proof, I would say make sure that they, they are both left-hand drive and right-hand drive. So I doubt these are both, cause you could just kind of tell. Come right side drive only. Yeah, okay, we need to stay away from that. Oh yeah, and a lot of cranes come with bottom brackets, which will save you money actually. Are these unsealed? They're selling unsealed? Okay, okay, buddy. Stay away from unsealed. If you ever see your read unsealed, get the fuck out of there. Don't even think about it. I don't care what the price is, don't. You could die. <laughs> I'm serious, you could die from that shit. Stay away from unsealed. Make sure these bitches are sealed. Okay, see, these are perfect. Okay, we have the Sunday Saker V2 cranks. They come in black or in chrome. Of course, chrome will be more expensive. They come in black for 80 bucks, which are 175 and 165. That is perfect. Um, for me, I would personally get them in 165. It makes your bike more responsive. And basically the, the whole theory is your legs are naturally positioned like this. So the closer your legs are naturally positioned on your bike, the more comfortable and the more better you'll be able to do tricks. Again, it's just a theory. Um, I, I stand by it because it worked for me. As soon as I slapped on 165, I was turning more better and more proficient. So for me, 165s are like right here. Like that and then 175s are like right here so 175s are really long so to me i would just say for comfortability wise get 165 trust me you you will thank me later if you get 165 all right so this this to me is perfect chromoly 19 millimeter sealed bottom brackets and 165 that's actually pretty damn perfect for me and i myself would have bought that after cranks i like to go to the sprockets because you know pedals could wait so sprocket now sprockets you can either go guarded non-guarded uh so this is a dilemma for me uh personally if you really really truly do not have money i would say go non-guarded but if you will have just you know just a little extra money just a little laying around or just having a piggy bank somewhere get guarded trust me trust me Trust me, get guarded. It will save your sprocket and your chain in the long run. Clearly all the cheapest ones are non-guarded. They're gonna run you like about 25 bucks. Sprockets could be pretty cheap. Um, the sprocket that I had, my first ever one that I bought was Supremo one and it was 25 bucks. So these are both 24 bucks. That's a pretty decent price. Um, I'm not mad at it. 
There's also this one, which if you like just a solid, you know, it's that one. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna go with the Saw Plus Trident Sprocket. Again, you have options. You can go with the Center Sprocket or the Trident Sprocket. Personally, I kind of like the Center Sprocket more. Uh, the colors are a little crazy, but they're pretty damn sick, actually. Like, that's pretty sick. It's gonna run you more, of course, though. But yeah, black. Uh, 25 tooth, 28 tooth. Uh, personally, I would go 28 tooth to a 25 tooth. I feel like I'm not going anywhere. Again, personal preference completely. It's up to you. 25 tooth is just smaller diameter, and then a 28 tooth is a bigger diameter. That is a horrible circle. But yeah, I would I would personally go with 28 tooth. Completely up to you. Oh, and it's out of stock. Fuck. All right. 25 tooth it is because they're out of stock in 28. Get used to that because for some reason companies really like to be out of stock of 28 tooth sprockets. So update. So far we got the sprocket, we got the cranks, we got the forks, we got the headset, stem, bars, and grips, and we are at 233 bucks. That's not too bad. Let's go on to the pedals. Yeah, let's go on to the pedals. So pedals are just like grips, just like grips and headsets and bottom brackets. They're all the same price. Usually they run you about 20 bucks. So they're all the same price. You can go to the lowest price and get cheaper ones. Always look for sales. I'm just, I'm not going based off of sales just because sales ends. So if you see a sale on a part that you like and it's around the price that you were planning on spending, hey, by all means go for it. But right now we're trying to stay away from, we're trying to stay away from sales because those end up and So we could go with the cheapest or we could go with honestly whichever, because like I said, usually pedals are all basically the same price. Yeah, see they're all 16, 17, 20 bucks usually. So you could truly go with whatever. I would personally go with the Mary P1PC pedals, the Colt DAC pedals, the Primo Turbo pedals, Primo JJ pedals. Those are pedals that I recommend personally. But for the sake of this video, we'll go with the cheapest one, which is the Federal Contact pedals. They look pretty good. The platform looks pretty wide, so they look pretty comfortable. So I would say, why not? Come in black. Perfect. That's guard. Next, we got the chain chains again, just like headsets and pedals and grips. They're all basically the same price. Okay, now chains. You can go with half link, uh, five ten link, and four ten. I don't know. Personally, I would say I would say go with full link because it can usually they come with one half link and that's really good. We're gonna go with the cheapest option, which is hit it with the coal, get the black, throw it in the cart. Not, not even much to it. Chain is the chain. Uh, in the beginning, it'll get you rolling. Don't worry about it. Uh, once you break it, go with the half lean. But for right now, you're chilling. We got the chain, pedals, rocket, cranks, forks, headset, stem, bars, and grips. I think now we can move on to the wheels. Okay. So with the wheels, thankfully, there are brands out there that give out uh, wheel sets which are extremely cheaper than just getting a front one and a back one. So let's see if they have the option here. I just need to find it. If I were you guys, I would just, I know Oreo has them. Just to show you guys, this is what I mean. You go to wheels, set wheels. Okay, look, this is what I mean. These are wheel sets. So they come with both right hand drive and left hand drive. And they're pretty cheap. This is the cassette one, which is 159 which is less than 200 for two wheels, which is really good. It is double walled. Make sure your wheels are double walled and sealed bearings. There's also a free coaster one. I know that one is a free coaster one, yeah, see? So you wanna go free coaster, it'll only cost you 50 bucks more. I recommend going this way. So we're just gonna add this one to cart. Uh, we'll do cassette. Cause personally, I think everyone should start off cassette. It's better. So we're gonna add that to the final, to the total in the end. Next, we're gonna go to BMX tires. So tires, again, there's a lot of options out there, a lot of budget options, a lot of high-end options. We have the Jet BMX Street Tire. Wow, okay. There's a Jet BMX Street Tire for 13 bucks right now. It's on sale, but I mean, 13.95. Come on, it's not really that much of a sale. So I would, I would, I would probably go with that one. They have the Fit OEM Tire for 17 bucks. They have the King Severe Tire for 18 bucks. They have a good amount. I would personally say just go with these. If you're riding street, uh, I know I started in street and personally I love riding street. They look pretty decent. They come 2.2, 2.35. They come in 2.35, that's pretty decent size. Affordable BMX tire from Jet. The key tire features a low profile direction pattern, which is super grippy whether you're riding street or ramp, 65 PMS. Hey, that to me is perfect. I run about 55 PSI. So these are perfect for me. You're gonna need two of these because they come single. Remember, BMX tires come single. So you're gonna need two of those. Let's go to seats. 
C post actually. So with C post, you guys can either go pivotal, stealth, or tripod. I would personally, I would personally say just go with pivotal. They're like twenty bucks if you go to a bike shop. I'm pretty sure they'll have some. They're like twenty bucks. C posts are just C posts. They are not gonna really matter when it comes to you doing tricks and stuff. So you could truly get whichever C post there is. These are eighteen bucks. They're a little long. You could cut them down, but it, to me, these are actually perfect. So. It is a little long, you can save some weight by cutting them down, but you know, just ask local bike shop to do that for you. If you want your dad, your grandpa, whoever, probably do it. It won't take too long. Burgers can be choosers. Now seats, since we're getting pivotal, most seats are pivotal and they are really good looking. I love pivotal seats. They have this seat from Verde, Verde pivotal seat. It actually looks pretty sick. So we're gonna click on this one. Uh, there is more options out there, trust me. Uh, you can either, if you're going on source or wherever, I'm pretty sure you can find more seats for 25 bucks. If not, it will be like 35, but this is the cheapest option. So really this one's a pretty cool design. It's not like it's ugly. My camera's about to die, so I think I'm gonna have to finish this later. Yeah, my camera's about to die. God damn it. Several days later. <sighs> oh my God, I'm tired. So it's been approximately Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's been five days. Uh, it's been five days since I recorded that last uh, little bit and yeah let's let's just let's keep on going where we were at so like i said it's been five days since i recorded this we left off getting the seat we have the grips we have the seat we have the seat post we have the street tire or the tire we have the chain we have the pedals we have the sprocket we have the cranks we have the forks we have the headset we have the stem and we have the handlebars so I was thinking, I was like, should I put pegs? Should, would it be a smart idea to put pegs? And I thought, why not? Let's just put pegs. This is completely optional up to you guys, but I thought it would be cool if we put pegs. If you guys really just want to be set right off the bat and go send shit. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's just put pegs. Again, this is completely optional to you guys. You guys could just get the bike and then worry about the pegs later, but up to you guys. So we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing. We're gonna go lowest to highest. Okay, so this is, these are the pegs. All right, we got to the pegs. If I were you guys, I would not get metal or chromoly pegs at all. I will get plastic pegs, okay? The reason why you wanna get plastic pegs is because you could always replace, you could always replace the sleeve and it won't literally get stuck on a ledge. If you're going for it, it's just gonna slide like butter. So if I were you guys, I would get plastic. This is completely up to you guys what your budget is. There's either the rat, LL Cool plastic pegs or the Fit PVC peg with the Fit by Cove. This is plastic. They have it in white and black. So hey, if you have a certain color scheme going on, you can match it completely. So we're gonna go with the cheapest option. So let's just slap on the Fit pegs. These are actually pretty sick. I actually like them. These are four and a half long, as it says right here. Four and a half. So that's pretty decent size. Uh, I think four inches is a little too small. I never tried 4.75, but 4.75 might help a little bit more. It's a peg and it's plastic, so that's all we need to know. We're gonna get two of these. I would go with, I would say four, but I doubt you guys are gonna be doing switch tricks at all. Like mostly when you're first starting off. So let's just put two for right now so you guys can learn your feebles, your double pegs. So we're gonna add those to cart. And then from here, after that, that's finally it. Now we can finally move on to the big, the bad, the big boy the BMX frames. We're gonna go to lowest prices. Again, we're gonna stay completely away from sales. So, what did I tell you guys? Jet BMX, what the fuck did I tell you guys? So right now, oh look, the Federal Bruno frame is on sale. But we're gonna stay off of sale. Like I said, if you find a sale, by all means, if you like it, if you like the specs, if you like the color, go for it, by all means. There's always sales on this website. But right here, the cheapest one, the least expensive, is the Jet BMX the Fabella frame. The favela, I kind of like the font, I'm not gonna lie, I like the font. It comes in a 20.85, oh wow. So that's just a little bit bigger than a 20.75. I personally run a 20.75. So it's like almost getting to, it's almost getting to a 21 inch, but not necessarily. So we have four, a full 4130 chromatic frame, includes a, D, a damp resistant oval down tube. Ooh, it has an oval down tube. Taper chain and C-stays, integrated C-clamp, head tube and down tube cassettes for added strength. The geometry of this frame is aimed at all round riding, so it can be used on street, park, and trails. Interesting. So we look at the specs, it has a 74.5 head tube angle, not bad. 
It's Chromali, thank god. It's 13.85 chain stay length. That's pretty long. I wouldn't run that personally, just because I like my chain stay being a little shorter, just because you know it's more responsive. But for the budget, it's a pretty decent frame. It's full Chromali, integrated headset, removable brake mounts. It weighs five pounds, which is the same weight as any other BMX frame, even aftermarket. So I say this is a pretty good deal. Now, like I said, you don't have to stick to this one if you want to completely go all out on your frame. What I mean is get all budget parts and then get a really good frame. That is completely up to you guys. You guys could do that. But for the sake of the video, we're going to go with this one. You guys can keep investigating. There's more out there uh, for like 200, 250, 280. And it'll probably be more personal to you. Personally, for me, I like a 75 inch head tube angle. I like a decent stand over height. I like a 20.75 top tube angle a top tube length and then i like a 13 slam or a 12.75 chain stay length just because i like the responsiveness but this might be perfect for you guys who knows so we're gonna add this to cart because again like i said that is the cheapest they have it in black and in red or in burgundy but right now the only one in stock is black and that's it that's completely it all black which is pretty cool all black bike so we finally finished. It took me five days to finish this video. I literally just needed two more things. So this is this is it. This is it. In total, it is we have 495 buckaroos. 495 buckaroos plus 159 buckaroos. It is a $654 build custom to you. That to me is pretty damn successful. That to me is pretty damn successful. It is less than 700. Well, with taxes and shipping, it'll probably be like 700. So we're looking at like a $700 build. That's really, really good. And I'm actually really happy with that price. This is it. This is the custom budget BMX build. And this was just all for you guys. So you guys could at least see whether you're going to build this bike or not. You guys could at least see some parts that are budget friendly and they're cheap, but also good. Um, maybe you got some ideas off of this video. Maybe you're gonna get some of these parts for your build right now Just to freshen it up just to upgrade it maybe a bit, but that's that's it So for seven hundred dollars basically you get a really custom bike That's really customized for you in a sense Like I said, you could go more into depth onto all the parts and get what you really want to get This is me just going based off of what I personally would get or what's the best option for the budget. So yeah uh now that that was option one i'm not gonna go into this next option a lot because honestly it's self-explanatory but the second option that you guys could go with is like always getting a pre-built bike now there's not a lot of issues with stock bikes that i know of i mean there is because you know sometimes they cheap their way out in certain parts like maybe the frame isn't fully chromoly it's just like the head tube that's chromoly it's hard to explain but you guys could always go with the stock bike it's not that bad if you do your research there's a lot of bikes out there that come with a free coaster or they come with all four pegs or that you know come with decent specs again it's completely up to you guys i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys got some sort of inspiration if you guys get any of this for christmas or you guys put it on your christmas list let me know post it on instagram tag me any of that good stuff Again, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope I'm, I gave this video justice and I did it right and I did it at least good enough for you guys. If you have any questions, like always, you can DM, DM me on Instagram or you can leave a comment down below. If you guys seem to enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like. If you guys want me to make another video like this, but a different way, like as in buying used parts or used BMX bike, let me know by leaving a like on this video. Subscribe like always. Future BMX videos coming out very soon. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know what else to say. It's kind of weird picking up the video that, like a few days after. Like, subscribe, and share. Catch you guys next week with a new video. I'm out. Peace.